Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me again today. So you may have noticed the increase in popularity of kitchen booths. We certainly have at Jacob Roberts and we just want to run through some great reasons why you may want to consider putting in a kitchen booth in your kitchen. So we've very kindly been able to come back to one of our customers houses. This you may see over, the, over my shoulder. Um, this is an open plan kitchen that we've done which is quite a big booth. But it was very integral to what they wanted to achieve as a family living space. I think booths are brilliant and well, clients feel that booths are brilliant because of what they offer. They're very intimate, they're very um, emotionally in, uh, engaging and they also have some side benefits of uh, added storage which I'd love to run through with you. So whenever it comes to uh, offering out some advice I always try and be uh, objective and play both sides. So I do understand there are some flaws in having a kitchen booth. One of them would be if you are sat in the middle and you have people either side of you and you do need to go to the loo, then you are going to be the slightly awkward person when you say, would you mind just budging up? Which is not uncommon. But I think as part of the booth's charm is that the sort of people, your family and friends that you have around when you're entertaining and dining, is they're going to give you a little bit of a ribbon for it and um, bits and pieces. But I'd, I... I think it's just part of its charm and if you can look past that then the benefits do stack up. So I think one of the uh, a large benefit of having a booth over a conventional dining room table and chairs is the ability to layer up as another another, another function. Um, the, the seating and the padding is uh, normally a lot thicker than what it would be on a dining room chair. So once you've finished your meal you have that ability to kind of, you know, really relax in, maybe with some soft, soft cushions, and really start relaxing in. Maybe put your feet up, or let them go one way, start reading a book. But it, it kind of offers that that lounging facility that you wouldn't necessarily get with a dining room chair. So some things that we found, especially with our our clients, is that with an open plan kitchen, it does need to have that ability to be more than one thing. It's not just a place to cook and prepare meals. It's not just a place to be able to sit down, but it's also a place to be able to relax. Um, you may consider putting a TV on the wall. So it kind of doubles up as a, a living space as well. You know, children may be able to watch the telly um, before dinner comes out or after, after um, the food's been cooked, you know, watch it during, you know, so it's, Having that nice soft seating where you can just relax into it, I think makes a lot of sense. I feel kitchen booth is an extension of your entertainer or cooking style. I certainly know in our household that we like um, multiple dishes in the middle, everyone piling in, helping themselves. I think that also extends to our European counterparts. I think there's something quite uh, nostalgic and romantic about being shoulder to shoulder with your uh, with your family and your friends in a confined space and just enjoying uh, the well-prepared food, um, smiling, having fun. And uh, I, I don't think you quite get that with a dining room table. I think a dining room table is a little bit more formal. You know, it's, you're, you're sat in your space. This is your zone for cooking, earth for eating. Um, so it's, it's certainly a complementary of how you interact as a family and, and, and whether a booth would work for you. Another thing to consider about a booth is they're great space savers. So if you have a small uh, kitchen area and you've got like a, a little alcove or some of the a dining room table wouldn't quite fit naturally, booth seating works really, really well. Obviously you can build and design the seating to follow the sizes of exactly what you've got and then the table to, to fit in there as well. I can I think of a great case study that we did for um, some customers in Hitchin. Uh, they had three other designers come to, to see them and they said there's no way that you could have a kitchen dining room in this space available. It wasn't the biggest. I said it's totally doable. We designed a booth that backed onto the, the back of the peninsula and it worked fantastically. And I believe they had, I think, six people, maybe even eight people around for Christmas dinner. So at first glance, it may not be seen possible, but I'm sure we'll always find a way. Three takeaways that I wanted to leave you with um, is an, in helping you make the decision for whether a kitchen booth is right for you. One, do you have a shortage of space and the booth would really fit in filling that and, and giving you that opportunity for a dining room table? Two, does it complement your cooking and entertaining style? 
uh, if you like the slightly informal approach, um, like lots of pots and plates and dishes in the middle, then I think a booth is very well worth considering. And would the additional storage would be helpful? You? Obviously, under these these padded seats is a great opportunity to have um, maybe some games, some board games, or maybe some overflow of blankets, cushions, um, maybe some pots that you only get out, pots and pans, serving dishes that you only get out once, once or twice a year. So, um, yes, yeah, certainly those three points I think may help you in making that decision. And lastly, just a few things to consider if you are going to take it upon yourself to design your own booth is a couple of design tips. So a booth seating should normally finish about 450, 500 millimetres above floor level. That's so your feet can be placed firmly on the ground and, and not put any excessive pressure on any joints. When it comes to the seating and the back, the seating should be just raised slightly on the, on the front and have a fall of about 5 degrees. And on the back as well, it should have about an incline of about 5 degrees also. That just makes it a little bit more comfortable and, and more suiting of your posture. Very, very lastly, uh, sorry, very lastly, um, material. Whenever you're speaking to an upholster, make sure you get the right material. Material is measured in rubs. Um, they're normally units of about a thousand. For a domestic uh, application, like a blind or a drape, that's about 15,000 rubs. Um, for something like a booth, like this sort of material, you're looking for something between 15 and 20. Obviously, your upholster will be able to help you with that uh, and best advise. Anything over 20,000 is uh, quite heavy duty and will be very much well worth its application. I hope you find this uh, useful. I wish you luck and um, fun in planning and designing your open plan kitchen. And stay tuned for more helpful videos. Thanks.